Welcome to Lesson 4. This is Part 3 of 5 Parts. Be sure you have completed all prior videos of this lesson before watching this one. In this segment, we're going to look at how to print the Gantt chart and timeline views. We'll look at some other views in future lessons. To save paper, I recommend installing a PDF writer such as the free Qt PDF. A very large Gantt chart is most likely best printed on a large format printer. Another option is to use the largest paper size available and tape the segments together. We'll use the backstage view to see the printing options. However, unless you have a PDF writer, I don't recommend actually printing anything. Depending on your PDF writer, when you drop down the lower print drop down showing paper size, you will see indicators of supported sizes. Choosing A3 with Qt PDF Writer should help you produce a PDF that includes the entire entry table and Gantt chart on a single page. In a similar manner, you can click anywhere on the timeline, then click on the File tab to go to the Backstage view. Since a timeline is normally a condensed version of the project, using scaling is easy as it usually will fit on a page, or fit on multiple pages wide by one page tall. Here's how our timeline view looks in print preview. In this navigation session, I'm going to look at printing your Gantt chart and timeline. There are a few more details that I can go into more readily with a live demonstration than I can with slides, so let me show you a few things first that you didn't see in the slides and you may not know about project. I have a timeline and I have a Gantt chart view, and the focus of where I am determines what's printed. So if I click on the timeline and I choose print, it will print the timeline. If I pick somewhere in the project Gantt chart, the entry table or the Gantt chart, it will print the Gantt chart entry table plus the Gantt chart diagram itself. Now the other interesting thing here is that the size of the window pane determines what gets printed. So if I pull the pane all the way back to here, when I print, I'll only see these columns in the entry table. So let's take a look at that. Uh, it should go uh, from task mode to the finish date only. So I'm going to go to the backstage view file, print, and notice it stops at finish. I have a little piece of the next column exposed, but you have to have the entire column exposed for it to appear as part of the print. So let's go back again, and, and let's suppose that I want to print all the columns of the entry table. I can pull the pane way over. And we'll just set it there. And now when I choose print, it will go all the way through the type column. Now, of course, it would all fit in one page, so I have to look at the multi-page view. And you'll notice here is my type column. So let's go back again and notice that when I put the focus on the timeline, it will be the timeline that prints. All right, so now let's uh, look at the print options in a little more detail, and let's uh, start with our Gantt chart. So again, I'll go to the backstage view. And uh, you'll notice that I don't have a physical printer. I have Qt PDF Writer. It's a free download. It works quite well. Uh, I like it a lot. I use it for uh, a lot of pr printing, uh, so to speak, that I uh, email or file away electronically. 
If you did have a physical printer attached and it had properties like uh, print quality and uh, color and, and so on, you'd be able to use this printer properties link to review those. The other interesting thing about project is it gives you an interesting choice of printing the entire project, printing the project between specific dates, uh, printing specific pages, or printing custom dates and pages. So let's just print the entire project for now. And we've got landscape orientation and of course with letter paper my Gantt chart is going to take up four pages. I can use this multi-page view to see what they'll all look like in preview form. Now if I choose a different paper size such as A3, I don't have a physical A3 printer, but I you can create a PDF of that size. You'll notice that the entire project fits in here. Not only do I have the entire entry table, but the time scale of the project has changed so that I can see the entire project. Now, if we choose to print specific dates, I might uh, just want to look at the second half of the project. And so now the view of the Gantt chart is reduced and printing picks up on the day that I specified. Page setup allows us to add headers and footers and legends and uh, control margins. So I could put a header here, uh, maybe in the center. I, uh, I can insert things like dates and time, page numbers, and so on. The footer has the page number that's already appearing here. Notice that it's ampersand page in square brackets. And legend and view. So I've got a lot of uh, options to review. I'm not going to go through all of them now. This is a little bit more than uh, I covered in the slides. But I can actually print now. Don't think that started for some reason. So let's uh, click the print button. There it goes. And so a uh, cute PDF writer uh, actually is producing a PDF. I'm going to call this new book launch and save it in documents. And I can actually open that PDF now. And you can see that I've got the plan uh, embedded here. I'm going to close that. Go back to my project. Now I'm going to choose the timeline. Go to the backstage view and print. I have my whole timeline. It doesn't print just specific dates. Timeline just prints in its entirety. I've got landscape orientation and letter. It fits quite well uh, right now on one page, so I don't have to print multiple pages. And again, I can hit print. And now I can call this new book launch timeline. And when I open my PDF reader, I've got the timeline embedded here. 
Notice each time too that uh, you know once I'm done printing I can click on that back arrow and I'm back in my Gantt chart view with timeline. So that ends our navigation session. Go ahead and practice uh, printing some PDFs using the various views of Microsoft Project 2013. Now it's time for you to practice. Practice setting up the print of the Gantt chart and timeline and explore the various options and settings. When you are done, resave your file. Lesson 4 consists of five parts. You just completed part 3 of 5. Please proceed to watch part 4.